Okay, Alex, we're here today having a look at your farm sustainability report uh, from your most recent audit. What's the figure for your farm? Our figure, uh, Tom, currently stands at 0.95 kgs um, of CO2 per kilo of milk, so that puts us just uh, slightly below the, uh, the, the average for the herd this size. Like. Okay, and I suppose when we look at the main components of that being, we'd say methane coming from the livestock, uh, slurry storage and fertilizer. On your farm here, we'll say with the livestock, how do you get best practice from grazing, we'll say? Yeah, I suppose, Tom, we're lucky really. We have a dry farm, like so we're able to um, Get, get a good grazing season, like early turnout and late, late housing, so big reduction yeah, in silage and uh, silage and, uh, and meal, like so okay. that's one of our main yes. advantages here anyway. Right, and with slurry management on the farm, how would, what's your practice? Yeah, here? all slurry time is spread through, um, with low emission slurry spreading, uh, I suppose, like which is front loaded in the springtime, like and um, or, like along with color coded maps then for the rest of the, the summer just to target the grow where it needs okay. the story the most. And we would say with chemical fertilizer, what do you use or do you make allowances for the amounts of fertilizer throughout the year? Well I suppose uh, in the springtime time like we third of the farm would be slurry and the rest would be chemical so that there's a saving chemical nitrogen straight away there in the springtime and so I suppose the majority of uh, chemical fertilizer here then will be a protected urea through the grazing season like which obviously gives us an advantage with the carbon footprint okay. as well. And you also have your colour coded maps so you're targeting yeah, the particular yeah, plots? Sure. Like uh, yeah we'd soil test every year and we'd uh, Obviously fertilise accordingly with slurry or fertiliser just to keep the indexes uh, up, up okay. to scratch. And also on your farm Alex, uh, you've been using some clover of late, so you've incorporated some into some of the paddocks in the past 12 months? Yeah, we're starting to get into clover now, um, so I suppose, um, which like they say in the next three to five years, like so there should be another saving to be got of, of chemical nitrogen on yes. the farm. So by reducing your chemical nitrogen on yeah. those plots. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, that's the yes. thing. That is, that's yeah. it for today. That's it.